Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with the six star version of Black Widow Claire Voyant. So we got her at six star rank one. We have the suicide masteries on. I don't have any points in willpower, but we've also brought the gold pulse synergy as well, just so we can immediately cleanse that poison every single fight and also get the 10% regen. However, like she does cleanse the poison just by switching into the poison stance, but there's also like a few biohazard fights that I want to do today. Day, but we can't switch into that stance so that's one of the the main reasons that i've brought uh, uh what is it the nick fury and also gold pull synergy along with us today but we have some pretty beefy opponents to start off with we're getting straight into a little bit of 6.4 here we have a deadpool encounter and then we're going to go for the thermostat path because there's a really like beefed up version of vision arcus and i really want to test her out against that like massive vision arcus fight because with a thermostat node, it basically gives you an incinerate. Uh, the more attacks you do on the opponent, once you get the uh, the thermostat to 20. So you basically just need like an incinerate immune champion to bypass it. And Clairvoyant Man, in her curse of, uh, what is it, Hellfire? She has the immunity to uh, incinerate, which is very, very nice. I think if we get kind of the right distance with a heavy counter as well... We can do some uh, some nice stuff here. We're just spamming heavy attacks, man. It's a very... Uh, dude, I love a heavy attack, man. It's just very, very quick. Uh, very straightforward. And there we go. A nice little special to, to um, uh, finish off Deadpool there. But again, not too bad. The Suicide Masteries, they are going to take a little bit of a toll on our hit points. But if we ever need to regenerate up, we just quickly switch into the Curse of Blood. And then we can heal up massively. However, when we have Curse of Blood, uh, we can't... Um, what is it? We don't have incinerate immunity, which is what we need to keep in mind moving forward onto the path that we're about to go on here. I think we might heal up toward the end of this uh, Venom the Duck encounter. This is a good little um, dummy just to punch on. But Clairvoyant, she's one of the, the few champions that just works so perfectly with the Suicide Masteries, man. It's literally built for them. But there we go, nice little special two. Dude, the special two is crazy satisfying to fire off. It does inflate her hit counter a fair bit, because I think it has like eight hits to it. So it always makes her hit counter go up by a really like big chunk when she fires it off. But you can bring that counter down if you just want to like spam heavies. But it's just all about, you know, efficient damage. Kind of building up to those special attacks, because that special two of Hellfire is really the biggest source of um, Clairvoyant's damage output. Just because, like, every single hit on it, man, is like 2,000 additional damage there. But yeah, I don't think she's ever been, like, the hardest hitting Mystic Champion, especially in comparison to, like, Symbiote Supreme and Doom. But the utility that this lass has is awesome, man. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to bail her out of all sorts of different scenarios. But here we're going to go for a 5 combo, test out the regeneration, so we're on 63%. We really need that crit off the final bit, and unfortunately we didn't get it, but we still heard up to, uh, what was it, 81% there? So again, not too bad, but anything that amplifies attack, you know, if you're using, um, uh, what is it, friggin' attack boosters for, like, progression content, then that can also amplify the regen. It's all based on the amount of damage you deal. And if there's any sort of like crazy node that amplifies uh, your damage output even further, just be uh, really nice. But there we go, 100% topped up. We took 5% from the recoil there. But for sustainability, man, she is uh, a banger of a champion. Very, very good. But uh, yeah, six star rank one. She's not doing too badly so far, but let's pop down to Vision Arcus here. I think this is gonna be a... Um, a bit of an interesting fight. I'm not really too sure how this one's going to go with Thermostat. Because we can somewhat control it. But also it's a little bit tricky as well. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do, man. It's a stacked up Vision Arcus. 230,000 there. It's got his tenacity kicking in. And our Thermostat is on, um, what is it, 11 at the moment. Make sure when it gets to 20. Okay, that's absolutely fine. But dude, look at that. That nullify is just so freaking clutch. She starts with, what is it, three uh, nullify charges? And then as soon as we apply this um, freaking special to give him, like, uh, buff immunity. Okay, nice. 
Having to pay a, a little bit more attention to this encounter here. Can we get a cheeky little backdraft? Oh, that was, that was clutch, man. That was really clutch. Okay, so we're at um, 20 on the thermostat. Okay, I was uh, a bit too ambitious with that. Um, <laughs> heavy. Okay, come on, mate. Let's go. Oh, that nullifies so nice against Vision, man. Okay, come on, fella. Oh, unfortunately not quite. We do have the uh, the Vision Arc of Synergy as well, which gives uh, a special attack discount on the amount of um, uh, friggin' power used. It's like 15% discount. But yeah, dude, she did great against that Vision Arcus. That was a really impressive takedown, man. Really, really nice for a six-star rank one without any boosts. I, I must say, she uh, she definitely exceeded uh, the expectations that I had of her there. So I was, uh, yeah, very pleasantly surprised, man. Very pleasantly surprised. Let's see if she can do um, a good job here with Massacre. I would imagine Massacre is going to be much more <laughs> straightforward <laughs> to fight than Vision Arcus. But now that I've said that, I'm just going to mess up and get, like, comboed into Oblivion. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Just got to wait for that final hit. Oh, no. Is it... Oh yeah, Massacre has that thing, right? Where um, if he can't incinerate, he just deals like direct damage. So yeah, this fight's just uh, a bit clown fiestery. Yeah, okay, well, um, <laughs> uh, it's Act 6 design for you boys. It's Act 6 design. Yeah, okay, screw that path, man. At least at least the Vision Arcus fight like was a really, really nice one. Um, so I think up next, one thing that I wanted to take her against as well is there is a clapback path um, here. So if we go to the teleporter here, and I think it's either, I think it might be C here. So clapback, she's really, really decent for... Because basically the clapback node, if you're not already familiar with it, is basically when you apply a... Um, uh, poison, Shock, Bleed, Incinerate, or Plasma debuff. Uh, you also get the same debuff on you. However, when she's in a certain curse, she's always going to be immune to the debuff that she's applying. Um, so yeah, it just works out like really, really well. Like it just completely like bypasses the node, man. It's really, really nice. But let's see if we can have a nice little time against the Sabertooth. I don't think she's anything super special to counter the regeneration. However, if we can get a lot of heavy attacks off, the, um, uh, what is it? The debuffs are going to stack up quite nicely. And also that the friggin' power gain from, uh, Clapback is, uh, a little bit nice as well. But I think we need to use a special three at some point to, uh, reset certain stacks. Let's just try and get those debuffs up if we can. Is that going to be a nice little counter? Perfect. I think we go for a uh, special three here as well, just so we can get some more clairvoyance charges. Let's apply another uh, three stacks of incinerate there. Uh, when it does come to the actual like damage over time, like the debuffs, all of them just deal like virtually no damage, man. They're they're very very small in terms of the damage output. But again, they have this fantastic synergy with the Despair Mastery. Fight like Sabertooth, blocks out the healer nicely. So I, ca I can definitely appreciate them. I'm oh, getting chipped down a little bit. I've made a few uh, poor plays here and there. This is the, uh, the great part of uh, Black Widow, man, is you can just switch to the healing stance. Fire off this uh, this mad lad right here. I'm gonna try and continue to uh, block out that healing on Sabertooth though. Ooh, okay. All right, let's go for a special two. Is that gonna be enough? If that finishes him off, that'd be so good. Oh, perfect, mate, perfect. So yeah, she dealt with that fight. Um like really really nicely that is like a massively beefed up 6.4 saber tooth and um yeah just really really good uh right let's crack on to we got a uh, sunspot here so i need to make sure i don't get hit on this one um let's see what we can do i think we still go to the uh the incinerate 
immune phase. Not that it really matters too much in this fight, but I think it's just going to give him additional uh, like solar charges, which he's not going to run out of anyway. Oh yeah, he's getting flare state from the, the friggin' node. But Sunspot, he doesn't have like too many hit points. Well, he's still at like 200,000, so <laughs> in all fairness, that is uh, a fair few hit points. But the node on this guy is going to make his damage output ramp up like crazy, man. He's getting those stacks of flare state like there is no tomorrow. I guess strength heavy attack? Nah, not yet. Okay, I think we go for a special three here. Maybe I should have waited till he was a little bit lower. The special three does hit really, really hard though. So yeah, I don't know, it might be enough. Ah, not quite, man, not quite. Definitely overestimated it a bit there. Yeah, what was that, about 30,000 damage? I guess that's not really, really hard, <laughs> in all fairness. It's okay though, man, it's okay. Certainly champions that uh, do a lot less on their special three. Um, but yeah, Sunspot, we dealt with that matchup quite nicely. And then we have a uh, Stealth Suit Spider-Man up next. So let's see if we can um, take this fight down. Uh, so yeah, what does he have? Aggression Regeneration here and clap back as well. Okay, a bit of a fun, interesting combo. But yeah, I love the, uh, the friggin' Nick Fury synergy so that we don't have to uh, run willpower. With this last man, that's really nice. Oh, okay. Let's be a little bit, a little bit careful of that evade man. Right, let's go for a cheeky little special too. Again, she does not possess uh, <laughs> any direct counter to evade, so evade is uh, a little bit troublesome, man. However, I think those heavy attacks are definitely uh, something we want to look at forcing her a bit more. Okay, let's go straight into a special two. Get parry there, just because, yeah, every heavy attack, the clapback node is just giving us a freaking ton of power. And also helping to uh, mitigate the aggression regen. But I got wrecked there, boys. Uh, yeah, I, I messed up a little bit on that. Like that Stealth Suit Spider-Man got me there. We'll just use a revive. I should have probably gone for a 40% revive there, man. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Don't know why Instinct took me toward the 60% uh, the one. I think because I, I was used to... Um, being on the friggin' <laughs> what is that, Act 7 beta? <laughs> and it's just like 60% uh, revives galore knocking about on that, man. But hey, for the enablers out there, boys, 60% revive very unnecessarily on a rank up a gameplay video. You enjoy that? Oh no, I thought he was lunging at me then. Might have a chance to get me here. Now we got him with the parry. Perfect. Right, let's dodge that one. Going for this, straight in for another heavy attack. Oh, dude, he's got a lot of regen stacks here. Okay, that'll get rid of them. We did a good job of mitigating those toward the uh, the end of all fairness. Oh, I thought he was going to go for an evade a bit quicker then. It's basically, lads, the rule is uh, if you find an evade champion, evade counters are great to bring. <laughs> They're re surprisingly really useful. But there we go. Stealth Suit Spider-Man is down. And then have we got another Vision Arcus? I really enjoyed that first um, uh, Vision Arcus matchup. I don't know what the nodes are on this guy. Let me just have a quick refresher there. 100% power gain for both champions. Okay. Sounds like uh, a little bit much. But I don't know. We could make it work in our favor. Let's just go for a few cheeky little L3 potions here. I think if we go for the poison stance, because then we can just um, get the the power steal. So let's stay in the the curse of plague here if we can. 
Okay. And every single hit is going to power steal. Oh, but it's not really enough, is it? Or at least by the look of it. Um, if he's got low power, man, <laughs> maybe we could just spam this. But yeah, he's still like gaining power, so uh, it's not working out quite how I want it to here, man. I don't really have uh, much of an opportunity to uh, switch my stance either. Oh, what's what's wrecking me on the the damage front? Oh, good goodness. Okay, that <laughs> she can work for that fight, <laughs> but the power gain, <sighs> really, man, hundred double power gain on Vision Arcus. That's just that's a bit mean, mate. That's a bit mean. But that's also like um, what was it? Friggin' Deep Act Six for you. That's just all this this very very silly stuff. Um, but anyway, one thing I really wanted to showcase in today's video is how insanely good this character is. Like, even at 5 star rank 3, she can do this, man. She can get your Cavalier. Like, she's amazing for the Crossbones chapter. I think she's, um, uh, like, arguably, uh, I think definitely, like, top 5 counter for Crossbones. Uh, maybe even top three because like she's ridiculously good as you're about to see but again if you are using the suicide masteries uh, You will need to ideally bring in uh, or either like turn them off. I think uh, or bring in um, Nick fury with the deadpool synergy, but like even without suicide masteries man. She's really really good for this uh, crossbones that's coming up All right, Let's go into that the hellfire mode here a bit of an annoying node because we only get um like special attacks to use when the opponent has a bar of power we don't want to throw off those like special ones really just just for the sake of throwing them off actually here we do just so we can like block out the healing because arc overload's about to come and then we just block out that healing <laughs> nullify it <laughs> okay that was a great fight man that was really really good okay what do we have up next we've got a falcon up next come on claire for in do you get clairvoyant now as like one of your first like five or six star champions? It's nuts, mate. There's a lot of really great stuff you can do. Okay, so this Falcon is immune to stun. I want to try and push Falcon where I can as well to his special two. Oh, he also has the friggin' masochism node as well. Okay. Okay, nice. We got some decent damage there. I don't think this gets us quite to a uh, another special two. There we go. See if I can <laughs> heal up at the end of this battle, man. That's what I'm looking for. Oh no. Went for the special one. Okay, as long as he doesn't go for another special one. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's always the way, boys. Always the way. I guess we got quite lucky uh, pushing him to certain specials there, man. So it wasn't it wasn't too bad. But there we go. Falcon is down. Dude, Clairvoyant is just a beauty to play as well. Those animations are smooth, boys. So yeah, I, I can appreciate that she's like such a well-made character. Uh, I don't think there's anything that roadblocks us here from my memory, but we'll see what's up. Ooh, Sabertooth's immune to bleed here. Okay, that's interesting. Just means that we can uh, get a lot of uh, clairvoyant charges. We don't get the power gain though, so I guess they didn't really like do too much <laughs> in this fight, yeah. Uh, maybe we might push one special two, see if we can regenerate. How confident do I feel evading Saber Two special two, though? I always find that one a, a tad inconsistent. We'll give it a go, though, man. We'll give it a go. Get like a massive heal before it. Should be a good time. It's 
Did a great job of like stripping those fury buffs from Sabretooth as well, man. Okay, nice. We love to see it. Let's go for this. Get the heal up. It's gonna be a massive fat boy heal. That's alright. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Your boy's still kind of got it. Now that I've said that, I'm gonna get wrecked by like something really silly at, at some point in this video. But I think I think we changed the uh, the stance here now, just because the saber teeth is regenerating a crazy amount. So we need to get like some poisons or some incinerates on him to really like bring that regeneration down. Should have probably done that a bit earlier. But look at that! Oh man, that is a friggin' heavy attack, boys. We love it. It's quick. It's easy. Gets the job done. You can spam it a couple of times in the corner. These are always my favorite kind of heavy attacks, man. Carrot has like a good heavy attack animation. <laughs> Instantly get like a tear up promotion. I just wish, uh, what is it? Mr. Fantastic, man. His heavy attack, such short range. His legs need to be longer. That man needs to grow a little bit. He needs to stretch himself out a bit more. Um, but yeah, that was still a really good fight against Sabretooth. Like, uh, the more you play with Black Widow, the more you start to appreciate just how versatile she is for all sorts of different scenarios. I'm still, like, not 100% convinced she's kind of on the level of, like, Doom. Um, but I think she's definitely, she's definitely more versatile when it comes to dealing with all sorts of utility-based scenarios than uh, a lot of the other Mystic characters. But Doom is like, Doom is 50 shades of crazy. And Symbiote Supreme, or the damage of Symbiote Supreme is a, is a little bit mental, mate. A little bit mental once you get that lad going. So yeah, I do I do love those characters for various reasons. But I've always always thought that uh, Black Widow Player Void is a very, very solid um, uh, god tier champion. Because I remember she was released to a bit of... Um, uh, there was just a lot of people that thought that her damage output like wasn't enough to make her even like a viable champion, and I, I never th thought that man. Always uh, seen the good in this character, but yeah, she's just a bit of a Swiss Army knife of uh, Mystic utility. Let's go five combo. <sighs> Man, that special one just feels uh, feels so so good to fire off. They really did like a, a ten out of ten job on like the animations and feel of this character. Let's go for a bit of uh, She-Hulk here. So what do we have? Uh, vigor, bleed immunity. Okay. We also do have the uh, the class disadvantage here, so this one might be a little bit more tricky. We got the Vigor node, like, <laughs> Black Widow Clairvoyant. Her nullify is so good, she's just gonna, like, ignore the Vigor node. So, yeah, I think we just go to uh, Curse of Hellfire so we can uh, spam that incinerate. But you see, like, regeneration triggered, man, it was just, like, immediately gone. Oh, we love it, lads, we love it. Okay, um, yeah, I rotated, like, a little bit too much and I'm back in Curse of Blood. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Again, I'm still not the, uh, the the best clairvoyant player in the world, but if there is like any really good uses that you found for Black Widow clairvoyant or anything that we might have missed uh, on today's video, uh, please do let me know in the comments section below, man. I think she's a cool character. I'd be keen to find out a bit more about, you know, people that really, really love this character. Are there any like hidden bits about the character or just stuff that you love to use her for? I don't know if she's... Uh, relatively popular for various scenarios in Alliance War. Sorry if there's a bit of a weird cut, man. I accidentally locked my girlfriend out of the house and I needed to uh, let her back in. Uh, so yeah, that's totally my bad. I was taking the bins out, boys, and uh, I accidentally bolted the door. So uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a noob. I'm a bit of a noob, lad. She wasn't too happy, but uh, you know, I'll make her a cup of tea later. It'll all be good. All be good. Uh, so we've got two more fights before Crossbones. We got Old Man Logan, and also a uh, fairly beefy Buffet Winter Soldier. 
So what did old man Logan have? Oh yeah, it's nothing too bad. It's, it's just mainly stun immunity that makes this guy a um a little bit of an annoyance. And also his uh, his now unblockable special attacks. So let's get out the bleed stance, man. And let's go to Curse of Hellfire here. See if we can get to a special two. Come on, fella, one more. There we go. That that'll do. We'll punish the combo there. Nice. Not too bad. I feel like if he uses that uh, special one like right next to the wall, might be able to punish it quite well. There we go. Look at this. One, three there. Not bad. <laughs> that is just really fun, man. That is really fun. Oh, let's go again. All the way, boys. All the way. Dude, those heavy counters are just the friggin' best. I love them so much. Uh, and then we got Winter Soldier. So I need to remember on this Winter Soldier, I think he's got like a 15% buffy node, right? Yeah, it's a pretty beefy one. So um, I, I guess actually we're going to mitigate a lot of the regeneration uh, with debuffs. So it might not be really that bad to deal with at all. Like those, uh, she's just really great for countering uh, a lot of healing scenarios. But we do need to uh, make sure the, the right lineup is there. So we don't want to evade this because of Buffet. This man has nowhere near enough debuffs on him. We only want to go for evades if he's got a, uh, a decent stack of debuffs. Uh, still a lot, <laughs> a lot to regen there, man. We can do like a similar thing to Old Man Logan, though. Look at that. No regeneration, boys. Hard countered. That's what we love to see. 500 IQ strats right here. Okay, he's only got four. I didn't want to give him the uh, the satisfaction of getting that, that heal off there. However, here he can do it. It's fine. Could he cancel out the regen there? Oh, clever tactics, boys. Clever tactics. Your man's still got a little bit of IQ in this game. I wish I had uh, Clairvoyant on my free-to-play account when it came to, like, doing this Cavalier for the first time. Oh, no! I thought we'd be able to make it in, like, quick enough for him not to heal. Unfortunately, we were a bit too, uh, a bit too off there. Right, we can safely dodge that. No regeneration there. Can we get a parry? A couple of heavies. Oh, perfect, man. Perfect. That was a decent fight there. So you can see, if you go like this side with Clairvoyant, bro, like every every fight's a pretty uh, pretty decent fight. You can get through um, all of them, but then you've got the Crossbones boss. Now, as long as we stay in Curse of Blood, she has bleed immunity. Um, so we need to make sure that we don't leave that. So just standard five combos. Uh, but yeah, this Crossbones is the uh, the bane of existence for anybody trying to get Cavalier, man. A real um, pain of a fight. So yeah, if you... Um... Oh yeah, we need to also be careful not to hit into the block on a biohazard node. Or else we're going to get poisoned. You ideally want like a, a lineup where you're ready to strike into him as soon as that vigor timer comes back around. Need to be really careful about hitting into this guy's block though. So we get that poison, we are in trouble. Well, that's a bit risky. It worked out, though. You can also, if you want to um, regenerate on this fight, and again, depending on the, the rank of your 
clairvoyant, this may or may not be a great strategy to go for. You can get him to the special two and then fire off your special two, but I missed. <laughs> I messed up the timing there, man. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to take this. Bro, the shrug off RNG is ridiculous on this man today. Oh, but this Crossbones is a, a notorious fiend. He is a, uh, a really, really annoying boss to deal with. But we do need to get a special two, actually, in order to keep, uh, keep the nullifications up. Right, I need the biggest crit we've ever seen in the game. Okay. Oh, dude, full of aid on crossbones. Let's go. I've never done that. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever fully evaded crossbones as special too. I didn't even know it was possible, man. I was just like, I've got some nig for your evade charges. We'll go for it. Come on, massive crit again. Oh no! Okay, yeah, I was a bit, I was a bit too greedy there, man. I could have blocked uh, some of the later hits on that one, but you can see she is a uh, a viable counter for uh, one of the the biggest roadblocks for a lot of players in the game. And if you play better than me, and if you're using um. Uh, stuff like, you know, 30%, 20% boosters for progression. It can make this fight uh, <laughs> a bit easier, a bit smoother. But I want to get this lad down, so let's let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. We're halfway. We've come all this way today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to leave you guys high and dry. I just, I just wish that she could somehow, like, collect all of her immunities and have them, like, all at once. That would be the best thing. It's the only thing that, um, what is it, annoys me about Clairvoyant sometimes is I just wish she was, like, a Warlock where he's just constantly immune to everything and you can just face roll smash into crossbones and, you know, not really have to worry about every anything. Right, let's get rid of that regeneration. <laughs> I still can't believe we uh, fully evaded uh, Crossbone Special 2, man. This is like a first for me right here. I kind of just viewed it in my head when I was evading it, like a uh, Korg Special 1. And it worked, man, it worked. Might go for one of these cheeky boys. Wasn't really that worth it, in all fairness. Come on, fella, let's go. Bro, imagine if, like, we didn't have this friggin' power struggle mode, and we just had, uh, like, regular mystic dispersion on this fight. It'd be crazy, mate. It'd be crazy. There'd be so much power gain. Just easily be able to uh, apply the... Um, Uh, was it the debuff seal as well so yeah this power struggle node is uh definitely uh, just a bit of an annoyance mate but that's act six for you it's just a, a bit of an annoyance <laughs> come on man 20 percent left let's go come on dude let's get that special one
cheeky little play to get the uh, the regen nullified. Well, she only nullifies off her basic combo, so I guess I didn't really need to throw that special one, but it felt good, so. Yeah, blocking in this fight is a, <laughs> is a bad idea. <laughs> too much block damage, man. Oh, we're so close. Okay, that's got to be it. There we go. Crossbones down. Black Widow Clairvoyant. Solid counter for that fight, man. She definitely works. Gets the job done. Uh, Warlock is, is still one of the best counters, at least in my opinion, for Crossbones. But there are many, many champions like Omega Red, Aegon, um, uh, Ghost as well that worked tremendously well for that fight. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy today's Black Widow Clairvoyant gameplay video, if you do me a massive uh, favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.